Hello everyone and welcome to Wervent's World. Today I would like to give 5 tips for new players for Neo Scavenger. Neo Scavenger is a kind of post-apocalyptic survival roguelike um, and it's extremely in-depth, it's extremely detailed and it's uh, lots of fun. But at first it can be a bit confusing for new players so I thought I would put 5 tips together uh, to get you started. The first tip is the importance of being clean. So if you look here, I've got a lot of dirty rags and stuff like that. And uh, basically, if you ever get wounded, you can in your condition screen, you can put these rags on there um, like this. However, these rags are not very good because they're dirty and they can lead to infections, which is not something you want to have. So what do you do? Well, you go to grafting. You can make a fire and then we just need to have a pot some water there so basically what we're doing is we're making a fire we put in a pot with some water and we put the dirty rags in there which will make sure they're clean so I press confirm now I have clean rags Go to my medical tab and I can put them on. So for this you need a pot. So I've got a pot but you can also do it for example with a with this soup can here. You can also put water in there. Because uh, this game is very very detailed and very logical. So if you think I can actually um, boil water in this then probably you can. And then you can clean your racks in there. And tip number two is about campsites. So campsites work a bit in a weird way in this game. So if you click on uh, open uh, close camp screen, uh, you can see your campsite. And as you can see here, this um, old spot on the ground would give me a bit of sleep, uh, none shelter and no, no alertness. Um, so it's actually quite important to choose the place where you sleep, especially, well, you need shelter, otherwise you're going to get cold and all that. And alertness is very handy to have, otherwise uh, everybody can sneak up on you. Uh, so you can decide where you sleep by clicking here on available campsites. For example, now I'm at the cryo facility and I can now say, no, I don't want to sleep there, I want to sleep there. And now I have shelter and sleep. If I wanted, I could, for example, make, make some traps, noise traps, that I could put in this campsite ground and it would increase my alertness. Uh, if, for example, I was sleeping here, I could build a tent there, which would give me some more shelter. Um, so it's really important to, when you sleep, before you click the sleep button, go to campsite, see what's available, uh, see what gives you the more, most shelter, sleep and alertness, and then sleep. Because uh, otherwise you will get killed at some point. And tip number three is about crafting. So crafting can be, um, well, it's very extensive, so you have a lot of recipes and stuff. Uh, but for example here, I've got half a pair of binoculars, and I would like to put some string on them in order to put them around my neck. So when I put them there, you will only see a handful of string, and you're like, hey, what's wrong? So uh, it's just a very tiny thing, but here's this arrow, and that means next possible item. Uh, when I started playing, I missed this, and I was like, why can't I craft my stuff? So I, I googled it, and found out that I just missed this little arrow. So now I can actually craft a rifle scope with strap. So um, be sure that you always check all the things you have available by pressing that red button. And tip number four is about inventory management. Uh, inventory management is super important in this game and it's also quite in depth. Uh, for example, here I've got these pants and uh, they have a pocket in which I put a tarp in order to build tents. Um, furthermore, uh, you can see how much space there is in item. For example, here this Chef Yummy Creamy Crumb soup can has for uh, a space for a square thing. So I could, for example, put in these assorted small parts. You could put them in there, and now you can see that they're in it. So basically, um, like that, I saved myself some space. So this one here contains batteries, for example. This first aid kit has uh, more space as well. So I could put, for example, uh, this t-shirt in there and now it's in there. Um, furthermore, uh, very importantly, you can actually rotate items. So if you click on, for example, this t-shirt, I could put it here, but then I couldn't fit that chart. I mean, I could replace it and put the chart there. But another way of doing it is to rotate. So I could press A and D in order to rotate things. And then I can put them in and everything would fit. Um, 
the invent inventory management goes even a bit deeper and I really like that about the game. For example, I momentarily have a shopping cart. I was very happy to find that. Um, but, of course, well, a shopping cart is... Um, well, it's not a solid thing, right? Stuff can fall through. So, for example, I can't put bullets in there because they would simply fall through and uh, they wouldn't fit in there. So the game is really, really detailed in how uh, the inventory management works and that's really something I enjoy about it. And tip number five. By some people this might be considered a bit of an exploit, um, but I think it's really, really useful for new players. When I just started out, uh, I well, I kept dying at the beginning and I didn't really see so much of the game because, well, I kept having some problems. Uh, with this, uh, you can kind of take out one aspect of the game, which is uh, the temperature, and you don't really have to worry about that for a while. Um, so basically you can focus on other parts of the game uh, as a new player. For that you need the strong um, and or the melee skill. I kind of like to have them both for that because then you don't get damaged in the process. If you use any one of these you do get damaged in the process but you can still do it. So that's up to you. Uh, and you need trapping. And you have one skill point left so I'll just take tracking for now. And at the beginning there's this dogman. Uh, if you fight him with either strong or melee, you get uh, you kill him, but you get damaged as well. If you use both, however, you completely kick his ass, and it's even videotaped, and you get some security footage uh, of it, which you can use further up in the game. Um, so you can confirm this and get out of there. And then in the crafting screen, you can see the dogman corpse. So um, you can put that in there together with trapping and the glass shard, so you basically cut it up. And normally when you would cut it up without trapping you would get a lot of meat, but now you can also get a dogman fur coat. And this dogman fur coat keeps you really, really, really warm. As you can see here, the outdoor temperature, it's getting, uh, it's very cold, but with the um, coat it's, it's way warmer. Um, so it really, really helps you out early in the game uh, when you have a big chance of freezing if you don't find the right clothes and stuff. And I personally think it's quite nice for a new player that uh, to not have to worry about temperature for a while. So those were the five tips. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you find them useful. Of course, there's plenty of more things uh, to know about this game. It's a really in-depth game, uh, but it's also a game that's really fun to explore yourself. But I hope that these tips at least um, help you in getting started so that you can kind of explore on your own. So I hope you find it useful and see you next time.